young as I can remember, I wanted to be a professional footballer. Then at 18 years old, I got it, and my life just started to spiral out of control. It was really sad. It was part of my life, but it made me who I am today. Uh, lowest point, um, probably being in my bedroom. Uh, I mean, a lot of the times when I was going out, on the outside, I looked like I was quite a happy, you know, confident lad. You know, lots of cocaine inside of me, lots of ecstasy, MDMA, uh, lots of recreational drugs on top of whiskey, uh, cider, Stella, and uh, on the outside, I looked like I was having loads of fun, mate. But I really, really wasn't. I was dying inside, and I was searching massively. And uh, what was happening? I was up. I was coming back to my bedroom, and I was just drinking loads and loads of uh, drink, alcohol, drugs, sleeping tablets by myself and I literally just couldn't get out of my bedroom. So, um, here's the good part, um, 23rd of December 2009, um, I ended up looking at myself in the mirror and uh, I was just disgusted and repulsed with who I was and then how I got there. I was really, really scared, I was lost, vulnerable and uh, I was broken, my ego it was smashed to pieces and, uh, and I was sick of being tired. And, uh, I felt so anxious, panic attacks. I looked at myself and I just surrendered and the white flag came up. And uh, that was the 23rd of December 2009. And on Monday, I'll be four years sober. And um, I didn't see it as any you know, burn, burning bushes. It was just a moment of reality and it was God's grace. And I'm absolutely certain that Jesus saved me. I really do think that God works he works in mysterious ways, that's for sure. And I was visiting somebody in prison that was serving a life sentence about alcoholism, and uh, God linked me with him. He, on release, went to the St. Old Dates Act group, and he asked me, do you want to go to a Bible class? And I was like, Bible class? What's all that about? And um, you know, I went because something inside of me was telling me to go there. So uh, life's completely changed, Johnny. Um, I got baptised a month ago in St. Old Dates. There's about a thousand people in here. Uh, after going for the full dunk under the water, and I needed it, the full dunk out. And it's the first time my family have done anything together in over 12 years. And, um, and that's a complete uh, miracle, and it's God given. And uh, I recently just qualified as a mortgage advisor. And trust me, that's the last place I ever thought I'd be, is working in a bank as a mortgage advisor. It's a very responsible job, and I feel that's very important as a Christian to be working with people and to help people and um, I'm really excited and I think the reason why I'm so uh, positive about doing something like this is because I want to be speaking to that person that's there that's lost that's scared and that's vulnerable and to say that you can change and transformation it is here if you want it. Uh, the reason why I'm in the Kingdom Movement family is because I think it's very important to reach out to non-Christians if Jesus can save me with his grace he can save anybody and uh, if anybody is lost, vulnerable, perhaps wearing a mask like I was doing, um, you know, I feel it's very important to get a gospel across to these people and to change lives like it has done for me. Uh, my name's Dwight. If anything I've said to you today resonates with you, uh, please get in contact with us because it's really important and we do want to hear from you. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can.